Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, happy Friday. I hope you're doing well. Uh, today, you are completing your last day of Bell Ringer and uh, your spelling activities for spelling sitting. You are also taking a quiz. This is going to be your second quiz on Esperanza Rising. Um, I was noticing that some of you are not responding in the text-based format for the text-based questions. So there are two text-based questions in this test. I want you to go back to the book, find the evidence to support your answer, okay? And go ahead and just remember the format. Otherwise, you're not going to get the full points. Um, it's the quizzes on the two chapters, Los Sigos and Las Guayabas. You can use your book in case uh, you forgot what the answers are. Go ahead, use your book and um, the vocabulary, okay? So no excuses. You should be passing the quizzes, all right? Um, you are also going to read the second article in the Scholastic News uh, paper in regards to goldfish, uh, completing the close reading questions, and there's a cause and effect uh, activity as well. And then uh, for math, I went ahead and set up a adding and subtracting fractions challenge. Um, you have to complete, I think it's 30 problems correctly. Um, I went ahead and started it today and you have until Monday to complete that. So work on it this weekend. You can work on 10 today, 10 tomorrow, 10 Sunday, however you want to do it. Um, but that's for math today. So again, I mentioned before, uh, we're not doing practice buddies this week. We're going to do practice buddies next week. Um, you have a some dog challenge. Look, um, log in and check it out and complete the activities um you today is the last uh liberty kids uh episode it is the first fourth of july um so this is after the american revolution so go ahead and watch the video and complete the questions um on the sheet for the video and i think that's all that you have to do today um now I'm going to go ahead and go over what your schedule is going to be like for next week. If you notice, uh, the first thing you have to do um, on your schedule is your writing diary log. Um, you're doing a diary log for writing. And the reason I wanted you to start doing a diary log is because um, remember how you weren't, I don't think you were, no, you guys weren't born yet when it was 9-11. Okay, and 9-11 was a major event that happened in the United States that impacted um, the way, you know, things go here in the U.S. as far as like airport security, um, you know, flight security and flight regulations and all that stuff. It, it, there was a major impact when 9-11 happened. Um, and I don't want to compare this to 9-11, but what's going on right now with the coronavirus it's we you are actually living in a moment that something major is impacting not just the united states but the whole world so this is a major impact to you know what's worldwide um what's happening with the coronavirus not just here and it's historical because the last time and i was seeing on the news the last time there was like a virus that affected so many people um and then there you know um it was back in 19 1918 i think that's over 100 years ago so um you are alive at in this moment you know and and i want you to go ahead and like document it of what's happening you know how you're home and if you do go out what do you do when you go out what precautions do you take uh and stuff like that so go ahead and just you know that's why i want you to keep a diary um document it and you know and then someday you can look back on it and or you know this is this is something that you're probably going to tell um whenever you have kids you're going to tell your, your kids and then when they have kids you're going to tell your grandkids um of this whole pandemic the coronavirus pandemic um i was in high school when 9 11 happened so I'm able to tell my kids about, you know, 9-11 um, and how my kids are living as well um, during this coronavirus pandemic, which is, you know, it's crazy. So um, that's why I want you to do a diary entry 
from now on. Um, some of you already started. I saw that Brandon has started. Um, so some of you that received the diary log earlier this week, you've already started. That's great. If you haven't started, don't worry about it. You can start it next week, okay? So that's the diary log for, um, for writing for next week. And then next week, we're going to, again, read two chapters of Esperanza Rising, Los Melones and Las Cebollas, okay? Um, have you caught on, like, why each chapter is named after a fruit or vegetable? Have you? Have you been paying close attention to the chapters? I hope you are. So, Los Melones and Las Cebollas is for next week. Now, Ms. Hernandez, we don't have the questions, the sheets. Well, problem solved. Um, I'm going to send it to you electronically. So, I'm going to send you from now on um, a Google Doc um, with the questions. Type in your answers. Submit it and uh, turn in your work and submit it, and then I will be able to uh, look over that, okay? So from now on, your questions are going to be uh, turned in electronically. Um, I'm gonna send them electronically, and you're gonna submit them electronically. Um, I'm also gonna continue to share the vocabulary slides with you. Um, you don't have the vocabulary printed. However, you have the vocabulary slides, um, you'll be able to read and review the vocabulary slides, so you can, I'm going to leave this optional. Um, you can continue to do your vocabulary boxes for Los Melones and Las Cebollas, or you have to read the vocabulary slides because on your quiz, it's you're going to have vocabulary. So again, review the vocabulary slides because I'm going to be posting those as well. Um, and then next week, every day, we're going to do a different practice buddy. So before you do the practice buddy, I'm going to post a video just kind of reviewing what the practice buddy is going to be. You're going to have five practice buddies, one every day next week. Um, and it's just the Envision practice that we've been doing this week, adding and subtracting fractions, um, simplifying fractions, um, adding and subtracting mixed numbers, all of that stuff. So it's not going to be anything new. It's it's work that we've been doing. You're just doing the practice buddy now. Um, social studies, uh, we're going to continue reading um, Guns for General Washington. Uh, you're going to have a, a couple of, we're going to read all the way to chapter 17, um, if you noticed on the schedule. Um, and then Miss Arenas also assigned you science work. You're going to take the sound pretest, um, and then you have a brain pop video on sound. I'm also going to give you a brain pop video for the Declaration of Independence um, for social studies. So you have two brain pop videos next week. Um, and then uh, lastly, Scholastic News. Um, this is a new magazine that came out that's coming out next week. I'm going to try to see if I could send you the link electronically and then or you could log into Scholastic News with the class code and I will tell you what the class code is. Um, so you can see the magazine. If you're able to do that, uh, then I'll be able to send you two Google Docs um, to complete. One article is about bullying, and the second article is about the coronavirus. So um, with the first one with bullying, I want us to focus on problem and solution, and with the coronavirus, fact and opinion, okay? Um, and that's all for next week. Uh, and then for spring break, um, you only have Esperanza Rising for spring break. So for spring break, um, we're actually two chapters behind on the other classroom, so I'm using spring break for us to catch up. So uh, we're reading Las Almendras and Las Ciruelas for spring break. Um, same thing, read the chapters, questions, vocabulary, and that's it. Um, I probably won't give you a quiz during spring break. I'll wait till the week after to give you the quiz. Uh, but that's basically it. The schedule for next week if you have any questions um let me know and message me um post a question boys and girls i don't get your alerts when you post on the google class i get your alert if you comment on one of my posts so if when you post a question on the google class I don't know why, but I can't. I don't get the alert that you're posting a question, so sometimes I don't respond because I don't get the alert. But if you post a question in in, in a in a comment under one of my posts, then I get the alert that you've commented on my post. So then I could go back and check it. So I don't know how you guys want to ask your questions. Um, if you need a response sooner than just 
ask your question on one of my posts. Um, but if not, if, if you want other students to go ahead and, you know, respond to your question, then just go ahead and post it on the regular uh, Google Classroom. Um, some of you were saying you were bored. Um, don't be bored. There's plenty to do, I'm sure. Uh, check Miss Campini's um, makerspace activities. Uh, hopefully you can find something to do that can keep you entertained. Maybe you might want to reorganize your room right now um maybe you want to learn how to cook something if you're home maybe you want to i don't know uh exercise a little bit more uh, maybe you want to invent something uh you know go ahead and make do a stem project at home uh just to kind of keep yourself busy okay and that's it for today. Again, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm gonna try to stop by school today. Uh, let me know if you also need anything. Um, but I'm gonna try to stop by. Try is the word. I'm gonna try to go. All right, okay guys, uh, enjoy your Friday. Have a good weekend. I won't bother you. I will see you on Monday. Bye.